Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. Right, bit of housekeeping first of all. Um, Gail, I know this is a troubled time for you, um, and basically you have purchased one of my t-shirts, and it's your lucky t-shirt that you're wearing uh, into hospital to do your chemo. And all I want to say to you is, I'm, I'm here giving you a huge hug and tell you it's going to be okay. The other thing I would like to say is that I only got two Christmas cards um, this year, and I don't know what it is with Christmas cards. People just send emails, but there's something very lovely and tactile, you know, of receiving a card and somebody, and it is basically sent me this beautiful, beautiful card at Christmas. And they are the Mooney families from Vermont. And I really, guys, thank you so much. Now, I want to tell you right now, I do not want to receive any cards. So <laughs> please don't send me, you know, any cards. But it was just the thought, the thought that counts. That's what it's all about. And so the Moonies, I believe that's an uh, Irish family name. It's quite interesting. Um, thank you. Very kind. Right, today's tour. Stone House, built 30 years ago. Well, restored 30 years ago. Um, and a guest house and a barbecue and parking for four cars and a garden shed. If you watched last week's tour, you will know that garden sheds are essential and fenced and 200 olive trees and a beautiful swimming pool um, and electric gates and air conditioning and only two kilometers from Arezzo. Now, Arezzo for me is just a, a wonderful town. Not only does it have basically beautiful architecture, it has some amazing frescoes by Pio della Francesca but it has a high speed train link to get you from Arezzo to Florence in an hour and 10 minutes and Arezzo to Rome in a couple of hours. It couldn't be better. We are today in Tuscany. And the reason we've come to tour this house is because the price has been reduced and it has beautiful stuff, <laughs> beautiful architectural detail and the owner has used all architectural salvage wherever possible. This house has three wells, an abundance of water, and that way is a national park. And here in the distance, you are going to see other houses. So if this house is a property which you like, but you want to be in the middle of the countryside, this is not the property for you. You can live here full time, very happily. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the stonework on the outside of this building. And I just think it's a very nice old stone farmhouse. Now we're going to have a look and tour this property first of all, and then we're going to uh, go and see the guest house. And then I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of the grounds. And the first thing that you can do as you walk in is that you've got a beautiful original, what used to be a oven, but has now been turned into the cloakroom uh, on the ground floor, and we will get to that in a minute. Right, the camera will adjust. And as we walk in, you have a lovely kitchen. Isn't that just charming? I really think it is. I'm gonna get over and pan across. You've got a cut marble sink, shaker style. But what I really like about it is basically you've got you know, it's almost like handmade. You've got a basic oven and then a six burner hob and this wonderful copper insert where you can cook things and have a fire going. 
Oh, it would just be, it would just be wonderful, wouldn't it? What a cook's kitchen this is. And if I pull around and I will come back and show you, you have a Whopper double fridge freezer with a ice maker and cold water dispenser. A beautiful cabinet around. Yeah, now these doors were purchased prior to the restoration. They are 16th century and they are absolutely beautiful. And the openings have been made to fit the doors, not the other way around. Now you come down into the reception room and the stairs leading up to the first floor. And as I come down, I will show you the attention to detail and the thought that has gone into this property because here you will see that the owner has purchased reclaimed terracotta tiles, which have been laid, some have been laid upside down and you can see the patina running along and some have been laid the right way up. And I think that's just fantastic. Yeah, and I might want to do that in our new home. It's certainly in the Lemonaya. That's what I say. Plagiarism, best form of flattery. Now, going into the dining room, uh, sorry, into the living room, you've got a wonderful fireplace. Now, what I will tell you now is that the majority, if not all houses, which are built in stone, will not have an original fireplace on the ground floor. So these are all architectural salvage, which have been purchased and put as the building has been restored. But what a beautiful job they've done. Really is. And I, I really do love all the old irons which were above. Yeah, it's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. And then as we walk through, I can see a beautiful glass and steel door, which I'll show you in a moment. And then we come into what could be a TV room. I mean, at the moment it's an office and a games room, uh, beautiful furniture, bowel vaulted ceiling. I'm just gonna pull up and show you that. Oh, look at that. It's really, really nice. Yeah, and then again, a lovely fireplace. Now the owner was a keen horseman, but unfortunately uh, he's unable to do that any longer. I love the safe. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Really is. Coming back and giving you the return. Now I'm going to show you the windows. Um, they have been handmade. And if I come a little bit closer so we won't have so much flare, you can see they've been beautifully done. Yeah, really nice. Charming, really is. Just love the doors, I really do. Now, a lot of this furniture can be purchased with the property. There are a couple of things which the owner wants to retain. And it really, it is just open for negotiations. Lovely arch. And we are going to go now up past the kitchen and I'm going to, no, we're not actually, Nick. No, I'm gonna save that when we come down the stairs before we go. I'm gonna go up the stairs and show you the bedrooms. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And look at the staircase. And then you've got a, a void going up onto the landing. Oh, lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Right, we come across and then we come 
up the stairs there's a mixture of stone and wood Very nice exposed stonework as well. Yeah, there's been a lot of attention to detail in the construction of this building. Oh, I just love that squeaky says. Right, up we go. Dove vai? C'è due luci? Va bene, vari distanze del letto? Perfetto. Grazie. Okay, so I'm going to come across. I immediately see that it's got an alarm and it has CCTV. The owner's just following me around and kindly turning on the lights for me. That's just fantastic. Grazie mille. Right, on this level you have three huge bedrooms. And then there's another bedroom or potentially a bedroom, a bedroom and a single on the other, in the other annex. Va bene. No, va bene così, lascia così. So this bedroom has a bathroom en suite done in a traditional style. And that's quite interesting. I, from last week's super modern house, we come into something which is far more traditional. Yeah, <laughs> appealing to all tastes, that's what we're doing. I like the sinks. And I can see basically a toilet and a bidet. I'm just going to show you that. Come down. Yeah. And then if I give you the return coming up. You have a little stairs which is leading up into the shower room. C'è una bagno su, no? Sì, e anche la vasca. Okay. Okay, so there's a jacuzzi upstairs, so I'm just going to get up and I'm going to show you that. Now it's interesting because I, I haven't been into a property for a very long time in Italy, which has wallpaper. So big jacuzzi, shower, step in. Yeah. Right, let's get down the stairs and I'm going to show you the other two bedrooms. There's going to be a mixture of color balances because it's a grey day outside and then there's indoor lighting. Oh, I just want to show you. I thought this was quite fun. No. Ah, si. Well, come on specchio. Si, va bene, non bisogna la luce. So this is a mirror, but if you pull it open, you have a secret wardrobe. Great, isn't it? Right, just going to come across now and give you the view of the other side of the room. You've got two beautiful French doors and a fireplace. And again, just wonderful doors into each room. And the doors have been purchased and the openings have been made to fit the doors. 
great, isn't it? Absolutely great. Right, back into the hallway and this beautiful landing. And then we're going to walk down to the other two bedrooms. <laughs> I love them. Fiona's behind me in my shadow. And I just adore these built-in closets. They are just beautiful. That's all we claimed. And look at that. Let's pop into bedroom number two. Oh, that light is flickering a little bit. Yeah, again. Oh, it's very lovely. Look at the panelling here. Now, this is all old wood and that has been done by a artisan. I think it's lovely. Isn't it lovely? Oh, I'm just going to pull up a couple of little antiques which are above. See, grazie. Yeah, wonderful. Love the lady. Now, there is gas central heating throughout this property. Uh, this side doesn't have air conditioning, but it has a ventilated roof. The walls are super thick. And I, again, I spoke to the owner and he said, look, uh, you know, I've been here for 30 years. We put it into the other house, uh, which was a later construction. We haven't put it in this one because we've never needed it. And I think it's basically house management. You really don't need it. Again you know, a good size ensuite with a basin. Someone said I'm using the word sink, so I'm going to be Ian, if I remember rightly, your name is Ian. Yes, thank you, it is a basin. Just coming over to give you the return. Yes, it's just... <laughs> It's filled with antiques and what's interesting about it, and if for those of you that haven't been to Arezzo, there is a wonderful antiques market which happens on the first weekend of each month. And if you want to compete with the dealers, you're going to have to get there early. We're walking down this lovely corridor into the double bedroom number three. Oh, I do like that chair. Yeah, I do. Big traditional wardrobes. Beautifully made. Sleigh bed. Yeah. You might not want all the furniture yourself, but you know, I'm sure that a deal can be done. And uh, one of the things about having a house in Italy is that you do really want to, you know, it, do you have time to go out and buy all those things? Probably not. Here is an ideal opportunity to buy beautiful antique Italian furniture. and have a mix and match of your own style. Yeah. Big bathrooms. And I really like the traditional systems. Um, and nowadays they want to have all these toilet systems which are then enclosed into the wall and in my experience, it's not, it's not always the case, but there can be problems. If you're in an area with very high calcium, you can find yourself with the plastic being coated with calcium and then 
you get some leaks. So there are some house management um, with regarding those systems, but you know, good old fashioned ceramic pull down toilet system works incredibly well. What a charming house. Yeah, one week to the next. Modern to antique heaven. Okay, so I've just come down to the bottom of the stairs on the ground floor and we're going to walk back into the kitchen. There's a lot of animals. Yeah, how fantastic. And we come up back into the kitchen and I want to give you the reverse on that because I really like that. And then I'm going to show you the cantina. 200 olives in total. Um, uh, rule of thumb is basically you are going to be producing about a liter of olive oil per tree, maybe a little bit less. Beautiful door. Yeah, so nice having your own little cantina as well. Now there's another door at the end of the cantina and that goes into the tech room. But as we've got so much to do, I think we're going to just bypass that. Okay, I'm going to turn right. And then we come up and then we've got a bar. Pretty outstanding, isn't it? What a lot of fun that would be. And next to the bar, where we initially came in at the beginning of the tour, and I said to you, this is an old wood burning oven, and that has been changed, and you have now a powder room with a sink and a toilet. With the toilet seat down. Coming back and then over to the other side. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun to come down before your evening meal. It really would. I have a Negroni, please. Thank you. And then in here at the top of the stairs, and lots of people have asked me, and I'm just going to pop my head in there, you have the laundry room. Right, let's get out and I'm going to show you the grounds and then we're going to go into the guest house. Oh, this is a bit of fun as well, coming up. Yeah, what a lovely place to sit. Oh, it's, it's fun, isn't it? Beautiful grounds, beautiful garden, all landscaped, all a bit flary, cypress trees. Now, as I mentioned, there are three wells. I'm just going to come across here and you've got this. Let's go over there, first of all. Oh, beautiful trees. Yeah, have you hugged a tree today? I hope so. There is Hug Me Merch, which is just down below. Oh, look at this. Isn't that great? It really is. You've got your pizza oven. You know, and again, I spoke to the owner and he said to me that in the summer, they just eat out here. Look at that. That's it. Where else would you want to be? It's fantastic. It really is. Okay, just leaning forward, uh, just 
just coming into, uh, I'm not going to go all the way up and I hope you can see it. Right, there's my car and there's a four berth parking space on the right hand side and then the garden shed for all your tools and gardening equipment. Just going to give you the reverse. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, you are in, you know, just outside of Arezzo, there are other houses in the distance and you, you, you're living on the outskirts, you know, a little suburbia. That's where you are. But you have electric gates. This building doesn't have any solar paneling, but, or oh, this estate doesn't have any solar paneling, but you could quite easily put some in if you wanted to. I can see an olive grove in the distance and I can also see a huge vineyard and other houses. Okay, so we are in now the guest house. And uh, again, it's, it's just wonderful, isn't it? Because you've got this, I know this company, it's a company um, in Florence and they make the most beautiful cookers. They really do. Yeah, all hand built. They're just stunning. And yes, it is staying. It's a great, great kitchen. And it's so close to the barbecue area. You know, although the barbecue area has a sink as well, I really like the fact um, of this carved sink. I think that's gorgeous. Don't you think that's gorgeous? Look at the thickness of it. Yeah, I think it's really beautiful and very traditional in its design. I come back and you have a kitchen table. As I mentioned that this house has air conditioning throughout and I love this, I really do. Now, this is part of a, this is part of a, <laughs> bless you, this is part of a spiral staircase in wrought iron. What a fun thing to do, really is. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful arch. Now we're coming down into the reception area and a great big table, a lovely fireplace, a nice picture window over the swimming pool and wood panelling to basically hide all the radiators. So uh, that's a convection heater as well behind there I can see. And I really do like that. Someone's gone to the uh, trouble um, and expense to actually do that. Lovely big window leading out. Must be absolutely gorgeous in the summer. It really must be just divine. Coming back down over into the kitchen. I'm going to give you the square meterage of both houses at the end of the video. Now we're going to come up and we're going to go up the stairs and you have, well, for me, I personally think this is a one bedroom and uh, a beautiful dressing room or a single room. So if I come to the top of the stairs, lovely wooden flooring and a gorgeous bedroom with a Victorian bed, loads of closets. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I hope you're enjoying it. It's really beautiful. I thought this room was very interesting as well when I initially came in this morning. 
because you've got or it would make and it is you've got a secret again closet with a mirror at the end Let's see if i can just show you that air conditioning systems yeah I just slide that over and then if i give you the return you've got this that little snug day bed which is picture framed with a little mule at the back of a vista which looks like well, it looks like the Val Dolce to me yeah isn't that fun I think that's great wonderful oh and i haven't shown you this <laughs> let's just pop into here then upstairs there is a bathroom and you've got a step down a basin bidet toilet and then an open shower at the end yeah i think it's great Right, I'm just going to walk down now and show you the swimming pool. Very nice stone flooring everywhere. Now I can see as I pull the camera up the town of Arezzo in the distance and I can see some other houses um, and I can see the hills in the background. This is a second gate that you can drive into if you wanted to but i'm just gonna pull around because i think i want to show you the view now yeah this is a semi-urban view pool is infinity edge so if you were looking for a country house in the country, <laughs> this is not the house for you. If you wanted to move to Italy and have a swimming pool and 200 olives and two houses and be only five minutes from the center of a beautiful Tuscan town, then this might be it. Love the fact they've got uh, a modern steel gazebo and that looks like it's got a pull down or pull across cover and I can see a shower as well. Okay, here we are. So what do we have? We have two houses. The main house is 450 square meters. The guest house is a hundred and sixty square meters. That's a lot of square meters. You've got one hectare of fenced land, two hundred olive trees, two sets of electric gates, three double bedrooms with three en suites in the main house, a big double bedroom in the annex, another little room, so potentially four stroke five bedrooms. Cloak rooms, both on the main house and in the annex as well. Your own private bar. Ample parking for four cars. You've got your garage shed, beautiful landscape gardens. It's aircon in the annex. Gas, central heating, three wells, and basically this wonderful barbecue area where I will be living in the summer. This is where we would be. And it is only two kilometers from Arezzo. Uh, it's, it's great. You know, yes, you've got other houses. Yes, admittedly, you are close to a town. But that's the trade-off. That's what it is. 
And so if you wanted a house which is basically, or you wanted to move to Italy and you had young children and they needed to go to school or there were activities, you know, the sports stadium is five minutes away. It's just great. And the price, as I said, it's been reduced. And the asking price at this moment in time is 1,800,000. Did you get it right? Oh, euros, by the way. I hope so. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one-take property tours. I hope you enjoyed this. There were elements of this house I absolutely adored. Everybody, I know I say it, every week, who have subscribed to this channel, thank you. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. I'll see you on the next tour. Take care. Ciao.